Whether it's planes, trains, or automobiles, many say summer is a great time to travel, but experts predict this summer airline travel season will be the busiest in quite some time. Airport officials and travelers in Panama City say that's certainly the case. News Channel 7's Zach Dahlheimer joins us live from Northwest Florida Beaches International Airport with more. Zach. Good evening, Ron. And before the summer started, the industry group Airlines for America predicted this summer to be the busiest travel season since 2007. Now, with a spike of less than 10% in travelers and also the airport doubling their airline mix, airport officials and travelers say that's certainly been the case for Panama City. The summer airline travel season has taken off at Northwest Florida Beaches International Airport with passengers flying from all over to the Panhandle. I fly out of Logan Airport in Boston. Panama City, Atlanta, back to Germany. Saying with cheaper airfares this summer, they're getting a good bang for their buck. It was cheaper than um, the last time I flew down. By so how much would you say? Probably $75, I would say. Yeah, so a good amount. Before the summer season, Executive Director Parker McClellan says the airport added both Silver Airways and United Airlines to the mix. She says drove up passenger traffic and offered more destinations for travelers. The connections to Orlando and Tampa and Point South and to the Bahamas on Silver Airways or connecting through Houston Bush's Intercontinental Airport and connecting to 176 additional cities around the world. Those are all big things for us. McClellan says during the months of January and February, the airport would usually have an average of six flights a day. But during the summertime, he says the airport averages about 26 flights on Saturdays alone. And with the summer season rolling along, John Bomber says cheaper airfares will help keep the wheels up, especially in Panama City. The fares were lower this summer, and I, I expect them to stay there with gas prices kind of staying about the same. So I'd encourage people to, to, to try it. Now, McClellan says not only did the airport add both Silver Airways and United Airlines, but also Delta and Southwest Airlines added more flights in March. Now, he also says as of May of this year, the number of travelers has gone up by more than 8% compared to last year. Ron? Zach, thank you. Now, according to McClellan, the airport is in the final phases of a master plan to improve passenger service.